Roscoe Fatty Artbuckle. He was born March 24, 1887. His death was 1933, June 29th, in New York, New York. Born in Smith Center, Kansas, his family were very poor. They struggled constantly. When he was just a year old, they decided to pick up the whole family and move to California. Now, Roscoe grew into a very, very overweight child, and he was made fun of every day with the nickname of Fatty. Hence, that nickname followed him the rest of his life. When he was just a teenager, Keystone Films picked him up. They did two silent comedies with him. He ended up later on, in 1921, Paramount offered him a three-year deal at the unheard rate of $1 million per year. He became one of the highest paid actors for that era. Now, after working an extensive schedule, Fatty Arbuckle decided to take a break. In 1921, on Labor Day, during the weekend, Roscoe decided that he was going to go in with a bunch of his friends. What would be the ultimate ruin of Arbuckle's career? He was charged with raping and murdering Virginia Rappe, an inspiring actress. But she had died in the hospital after the party of a ruptured bladder. Immediately, the press was all over the story, accusing Art Buckle of crushing Rappe when he jumped on her. There was much more lurid accounts of what Roscoe had done to her. Two days later, voluntary and state mandate bans were imposed on Art Buckle's movies. Hence, they were banning him completely and shunning him from Hollywood. On September 13th, a grand jury returned an indictment of manslaughter against Art Buckle. After three trials, the grand jury returned, um, first two ending in hung juries. Roscoe was finally acquitted in March of 1922, but his film career was over by that time. He was banned from the screen for quite some time. He ended up being destitute, almost. When he returned, he had to go underground to his, under an assumed name to get work. He was gotten work under, for directing films. But by the late 1920s, he was getting s steady work as a director. By 1932, he worked his way back in front of the camera. But it was too late. Roscoe died of a heart attack in 1933. He was only 46 years old. He was cremated and his ashes were spread out into the Pacific Ocean. He did have three spouses, Minta Dufresne, Doris Deanne, and Addie Oakland McBale, each one ending up in divorce. All this man wanted to do was to make people laugh and smile. And so this is the story of Fatty Arbuckle.